Hey guys, Doug here at Trigger King, another Trigger King Tech. I am behind the camera. Jeremy, you are up here. Jeremy, we're gonna talk about Jeremy's Taurus Retro. So let's get in tight here on it. And Jeremy, I guess you wanna talk about this. Great looking truck. All right, so this is the Taurus 2. Um, it's running a 1988 J-Concepts Chevy Silverado body here. Um, the graphics are by JB Scale Graphics. So you did these nice bulls and Taurus names here. And then the stripes in the body, all that's paint that I did. And what was the uh, the paint that you used for this? I know we talked yeah. about it in a previous tech, but... Yeah, it's, uh, the red is actually three colors. It's Tamiya PS37. It's backed by PS48. Um, it's a metallic silver. And then PS5 black. So you need all of those to get the right red for this Taurus color. Well, then, it's, it's like the perfect Taurus color, actually. So I guess now we're at the truck here, actually. Yeah. And then this chassis is very popular in our club. It's the Sick and Me Ultralight. Um, there's various wheelbases in the club. This is the one inch stretch. Um, it's aluminum chassis painted black. Um, otherwise, it's mostly stock Cloudbuster components for the axles and everything. But you get the Sick and Me also has their uh, metal anti Anti roll brackets. Yeah. Anti rotational there. Yep. Anti rotational. Which you can see, sorry, right there. That's what you got. Yep. And while we're down there, we have the Axial 27 turn motors, has become the new standard for our club. Just so everybody's on the same power. You don't have to mess around with what you need. They're nice and affordable. Then when we come over to the front, the steering on these, the stock Cloud Buster steering is not very effective. You get the bump steer and everything. So a lot of guys, different companies sell them. These are Crawford Performance. Um, the vertical steering mounts mm -hmm. and links right here. You can also get those from uh, the RS Designs or Sutton mm -hmm. Motorsports and a few others have them, good ones too. This blower here, which one is this? Is this off like a muscle machine or something? That's actually part of the stock Cloudbuster, th this part, and then this blower oh, yeah. assumes from like the 80s version, they include that and the newer one with the more square. You're version. right, you're right. It's been a while since I've seen a, yeah. a clod blower actually like that, the yeah. old style. Yeah, I was uh, gonna have RH Designs build me one and I just never got around to figuring out what I want exactly to fit into the truck. So we got for wheels and tires here, it looks like stock clod actually. Yeah, the I'm, Goodyear. I'm probably gonna do to the gold years once they come available. For now, these are the stock clod rims that are painted with TS paints, remember for the plastics, you yeah, the, the plastic. TS paints and stock Cloudbuster wheels. And then for electronics, um, I used the stock to my uh, ESC and I burnt it out over time because I didn't have a BEC with it. So one with the Castle 10 amp BEC and this is a Hobbywing 860 for a speed controller. And then we have 100C batteries, uh, our limit for this class. All right, Jeremy, well, thank you for showing off Taurus. And we will uh, talk to you soon, actually, with another truck of yours.